In this video, I'm going to explain a feature that's part of intelligent scheduling, and that is the default calculation type for a task. Project Insight defaults to calculating the user's percent allocation on a task, and what that means is that if I put in a one-day task and it's eight hours, then they're 100% allocated for that day, I mean, if a typical day is eight-hour workday. If I then put in four hours for one day say, saying that this task, will, I have the whole day to do the task, but it only is four hours of work. That person's allocation is only 50% allocated on this specific task. Sometimes you uh, have situation where you wanna provide us uh, the hours and the percent and have the duration calculated. Or sometimes you wanna have the duration and the percent supplied and calculate the hours automatically. And so I'm going to show you how to do that. On this, in the simplest form, you can simply click on the advanced icon and change the calculation type. If you want to have Project Insight calculate the duration, change the calculation to duration for this one time. Or if I always want the duration calculated, that's the default for this task. Then click OK. When you're editing the resources, now you'll see four hours at 100% or maybe four hours at 25%. Once I click OK and I save the task, Project Insight is calculating, wow, this four hours takes two days. It calculated the duration in that case. You can also go and change this calculation to say, no, I really want to calculate the work. And I'll just change both of these. And in this case now, if I edit that, uh, I'm now supplying the percent. So in this case, 10%. And I'm going to say for five days. This is a lot more common than the other way around. Uh, so where you know, hey, I only want, it's five days, but someone's going to have to be on it 10% of their time all week. That's what this would do. So when I calculate this now, the work, which is not editable here, will be calculated into four hours. So 10% of five days is four hours. That's how that calculation came out. So here's the thing about that. So you can do it on an ad hoc basis, one task at a time by clicking the advanced options here, or it's also always available on the full task ad edit form. In the advanced area, you can, uh, on the resources tab, you can ch change that calculation type here. But normally you don't wanna have to do that on a one by every single time. So depending on your configuration, if you wanna change this setting, Globally, you can do that, or you can do it on a task-by-task -task basis. I'll quickly show you the methodology for changing it on this, I'm sorry, on a project-by-project -project basis. If I want to edit the task defaults in this project, I can go in here and say, I really want for this whole project, we're always calculating work, and I can apply to all tasks. Now, every task new, every task that we already created and every new task will always be calculating work. The default is, again, percent of workday, where you supply the duration and the work. This is auto-calculated for you. But you can change this on a single project by editing those task options from the menu here. And you can also do it globally, which I'll show you right now. To change your global settings, go to your add-ons, then choose projects and tasks, configure them, go to your default task settings, and you can change for the whole system if you want to always calculate work by supplying percent allocation and duration you can simply choose i want to calculate work here and then check this box to apply it to every task in the system so any new task now that's created will go to resource work um, again this can be overridden at the project level by editing the project task options and at the task level by just editing the value in the advanced options that I just previously showed you. So this is where you would make the setting globally in your add-ons, in the configuration, in the default task settings. If you want to go and change these settings on a project-by-project -project basis, you can do that from the menu I showed you previously.